Hey, Derek, how are you? I'm doing good, Dan. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Are you aware of your stats? <laughs> Uh, not really. Like when you started saying that, I was like listening and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, most touchdown passes since 2015, you with 43. That leads everybody, including Drew Brees, uh, Tom Brady, Matthew Stafford. So these are pretty, uh, pretty impressive numbers there. How are you different now than you were your rookie year? Oh, man. You know, uh, you know I remember, uh, you know, C. Wood would always tell me, you know, experience. Is, uh, is the biggest thing in this league. And uh, that's just, you know, that is what it is. You know, just all the games I've played, blitzes I've seen, coverages, uh, you, know, you just have so much more experience now in my third year than I did, obviously, when I was a rookie, and that's what slows the game down for you. So you're talking Charles Woodson gave you that advice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He, and he gave me a lot of advice, but that's something he always said to me. But and could you imagine if you didn't start your your rookie year? You see these guys now, where it's Wentz and uh, Dak Prescott. But here you are in your third year. But how did that first year, good and bad, help you? Oh man, you know, it, as long as you're someone that can handle adversity, as long as you are someone that is uh, you know is grounded in who you are, uh, and you don't worry about uh, outside things. Uh, you can go into that rookie year and just say, hey, I'm going to cut it loose. I'm going to try and learn as much as I can. And uh, through the ups and downs, you know, I'm just going to try and learn. And as long as that's your mindset and you go out there and you just give it everything you got and try and win, then going on from then, uh, you're going to go away with so much experience. You're not going to leave like, man, I wish I did this better or this better. You know, you're just going to leave confident. You're going to leave uh, knowing, hey, I got some things to work on, but that experience, there's nothing like it. What are you thinking when the Chargers line up for that field goal to tie it? Uh, I'm thinking about the two minute drive, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, I, I, I prayed. I, obviously, I was praying. I was hoping they'd miss it, but uh, I'll take a fumbled snap. You know, uh, that's just as good. Uh, you know, so I went from, okay, they're going to play these cur- certain coverages in two minutes. You know, with the games going, they might do this, they might do this. And then they fumble a snap, and that went out the door. I was like, man, we just got to, you know, kill this clock a little bit and hopefully win this game. Would you rather be down with the ball or up? with Philip Rivers having the ball with two minutes to go? Oh, man. You, you know, obviously you want to take the lead. You know, I'll trust our defense uh, any day, no matter, you know, uh, you know what the game's looking like. You know, I will take our defense, and I trust my guys to make a stop. You always want the lead, but it's too hard to get in this league to, you know, ever give that up. At least you admit it. Most guys would say, I want the ball with a chance to win it. Oh, yeah. You know, the – you know, and that's all fine. You know, that's fun. You know, and trust me, obviously, I don't mind doing that. Uh, <laughs> but anytime that you give me the option to have the lead in an NFL game, uh, you know, I'm going to take that every time. He's Derek Carr of my Raiders. Now, a four and one. They got the Chiefs coming up. How often are you referred to as David? <laughs> a lot, man. Oh my goodness, it, uh, it it still happens. I don't think it'll ever stop. Um, you know, and that's okay. You know, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, you know, and I, I've just learned to, you know, you know, subtly correct people uh, as they do it. <laughs> how do you, how do you do that? Uh, I had someone drive by the other day, uh, you know, I was walking down the street and, uh, he, he stops his car and says, David Carr. I said, no, I'm Derek, but that's okay. And, uh, he started, oh, he's like, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. And, uh, you know, so I just, I just throw a little subtle jabs in there here and there. Oh, so he wasn't disappointed that you weren't David, that you were Derek. He, he was, he, he was fine with that. Oh yeah. He was looking for Raiders quarterback, David Carr. And, uh, <laughs> he, he just had to you know, realize that that wasn't him. <laughs> uh, we did some research and, uh, my research department said that, uh, your brother, David is too good looking. Yeah, he's got the. Uh, he, he totally went TV on us too with the haircut. Oh, uh, I know. Does does he <laughs> act like now? Can you tell him everything now that he's an analyst? Oh yeah, I I still tell him oh, everything, okay. and he just laughs. And uh, you know, but I did tell him. I said, I said, I will, I will let you know if you go too media on us. <laughs> you just see, he laughs. <laughs> uh, we saw your. Uh, is it your Twitter page where you did you pick out the pictures on your Twitter page? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Did we go the gun show on purpose there, Derek? Uh, oh. <laughs> come no, on. No, come on. Definitely not on purpose. Oh, on purpose. come on. That's not, that's not me. It just, it just happens to be that way. Derek, <laughs> come on. You're looking like Tebow here. Hey, 
I, I, I told everybody, you know, everyone gets on me. You know, Justin Tuck was the best, man, because he played with Dave in New York, and he would always say, hey, you know your brother's a lot more jacked than you. And uh, <laughs> he would tell me that every time we were in the weight room because he would just do it to motivate me and push me. But uh, So I, I always, like, I'll send him, like, I'll show him a picture like that or something just to make him laugh. <laughs> Uh, Jack Del Rio's personality here, it, it just, uh, how would you describe that? And, and how does that help you, uh, as a quarterback? Man, he is, uh, he's tough. He's gritty. Um, you know, he, he trusts, uh, he's very faithful, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, very loyal to us. And, um, you know, that's something as players that we love, you know, he, he trusts us to, you know, execute when the game's on the line. Um, uh, and, and it just, you know, empowers our whole offense when, he shows us that kind of trust, and um, it's a really cool thing that he sees that in us, and uh, you know, trusts us to get those things done. And the going on, going for it on fourth down. I mean, that confidence. What's that confidence jolt like when you're in the huddle, and all of a sudden he says, "Yeah, go for it." Man, it's so funny. I'm starting to, you know, think just like him. You know, uh, there was a there was a couple of times in the game where we were fourth and short, and you know, we we obviously had to take the points. And then later, late in the game, uh, I was already thinking, like, he's going to let us go for this. And then I looked at him, <laughs> and he waved the kicker. You know, he waved Bass off and pointed and said, go for it. And I just started smiling and just walked back to the huddle and just, you know, was ready to get the play. But uh, it's funny, though, because I'm starting to think like him. So uh, that's a good thing. Hey, congrats so far. Good luck against the Chiefs, and uh, we appreciate you joining us. Oh, man, thanks for having me. I always appreciate it. All right, that's uh, Derek Carr. Don't call him David.